I have a, a public service announcement to make. Um, it's very serious. It's come to my attention that some people have been talking about how 2020 has been a lousy year. Well, that's not true. It's fake news. 2020 is a beautiful year. It's a year that I've been looking forward to and praying about my whole life. It's the year when my baby girl becomes a beautiful bride. But I see a man she has chosen and that God has chosen who is worthy of my little girl. about and prayed for our wedding day so many times but it still always felt so far away. It's surreal to know that after this day we'll actually be husband and wife. Since I was little I've prayed for my future husband and it's such a blessing to see all those prayers answered in you. You are a man of God my love and I'm certain that you are the man I've been praying for all these years. This COVID experience gave us a unique opportunity to live with Forrest for about four months because he couldn't go back to Thailand couldn't go back to Hope College. And so, I've grown to love your husband. I've grown to love my son. I see a man who is also incredibly talented and smart and super creative. I see a man who loves God, who loves people, who gives sacrificially and with a servant's heart. And I see a man who loves Lauren selflessly like Christ loves us, and even in simple ways, like getting up to make breakfast for her at 5.30 in the morning before she had to leave to drive to Holland for work. I see a man who has now become my son. Forrest has always been a loyal and affectionate brother, even when I was a big, uh, bossy big sister. <laughs> I remember one time when we were probably in middle or high school, we were talking about best friends and I shared my list of my best friends. And much to my surprise, he said to me, Brooke, you're my best friend. <laughs> I did not deserve that, but that's the kind of gracious and kind person Forrest has always been. Brooke, I think you had a part in Forrest's pursuit of meaningful female relationships at Hope College. Before Hope, Forrest Hope experience began, your life had shown your little brother what a friend a sister could be. You drove your car to Holland and visited him. You two went car camping together. It was during the time that Forrest began cultivating female friendships at Hope that we asked him, are there girls there who have a close walk with Jesus Christ? There's no one like Lauren, he replied. Lauren is earthy. Uh, since most of us are all family, we know that Lauren is very outdoorsy. Um, from the way she loves nature to the way she dresses, she is truly a woman of the forest. No pun intended. <laughs> Lauren is the woman that I want to become. She has a servant heart and a vibrant faith that I admire. One of the very first qualities that Forrest remarked to me about Lauren was, Mom, she's a very kind person. And I've experienced that even halfway around the world through little messenger chats. Forrest has glowed over Lauren's ability to enjoy life's simple things, especially God's beautiful creation. And we can see that Lauren and her 
Her whole family are affectionate people, willing and wanting to share life with us. You don't mind getting a little sweaty, dirty, and scratched up. Small prices to pay for a spe spectacular view of the mountains. You know how to enjoy the little things in life. You love to jump in puddles. <laughs> Lauren, you are my beauty. Your face radiates with a golden glow that melts my heart, especially in the warm light of a romantic sunrise or sunset. Yours forever, Forrest. <laughs> Forrest, you've been blessed with a Proverbs 31 woman as your bride, a woman of dignity, of strength, a wife of noble character, a woman who is beautiful, in every sense of that word, and beautiful to the core. In her, you will lack nothing of value. I realize that committing to someone for life is a big deal, but I don't think take that commitment lightly. This journey will surely have its high and low points, and there'll be many times we fail to keep our promises to each other, but I thank God that we can trust his goodness and faithfulness to carry us through. I promise to do my best to love you as Christ calls me to love you. I will serve you, commit myself fully to you, and will love you with every beat of my heart and for as long as I have breath in my lungs. You are my favorite companion, adventure buddy, and friend, and I can't wait to start the adventure of my life time. Always go back to the heart, the heart. friendship and I see and praise God for the foundation of a lasting and fulfilling marriage and life together so 2020 is not a lousy year it's an incredible year it's a year of blessing and it's a year of new beginnings